forced labor encompasses a variety of exploitative practices, from debt bondage to slavery-like conditions. In 2016, the International Labor Organization estimated that there were 16 million victims of forced labor, and 11% of those 16 million were in the agriculture sector, which includes both forestry and fisheries. Previously, there did not exist a method of remotely identifying forced labor at sea. In a previous study, our colleagues found that high seas fishing often appears to be an unprofitable endeavor, even when accounting for fisheries subsidies. However, it still occurs. One possible explanation is lower than expected labor costs, or no labor costs at all. We know we can use satellite tracking data and machine learning to help identify when vessels are fishing and trend shipping at sea. We got to thinking, what if we could use this technology to help identify forced labor? In a new study, we combined satellite data, machine learning, and on-the-ground expertise from human rights practitioners to shed new light on human rights abuses at sea. We found that vessels using forced labor behave in fundamentally different ways than other vessels. Looking across a global data set of 16,000 longliner, squid jigger, and trawler vessels, we found that between 14 and 26% of these vessels were high risk of using forced labor. We estimate that between 57,000 and upwards of 100,000 individuals were working on these vessels as crew and potential victims of forced labor. This research has the potential to actually liberate victims of forced labor at sea to, to free people, which is tremendous. It also has the potential to drive workplace improvements and, and frankly, to prevent human rights abuses from occurring in the future. This research is revolutionary in demonstrating how vessel tracking data and machine learning can help identify the risk of forced labor at sea. Increasing fisheries transparency through information sharing is vital to ensuring decent working conditions across the fishing sector.